Hello Year 2, this is Mrs Bailey here. I'm going to read you a story called The Rainbow Serpent. This is a story that you're going to need to know quite well for Thursday and Friday's English lessons with Mrs Williams and Miss Griffith. So this is a traditional Aboriginal dreamtime story involving this character here, the Rainbow Serpent. Long, long ago in dreamtime, the earth lay flat and still. Nothing moved and nothing grew. One day, a beautiful snake awoke from her slumber, that sleep, and came out from under the ground. This snake was known as the Rainbow Serpent, and there she is. She's absolutely beautiful. I can see why she's called the Rainbow Ser um, Serpent. Beautiful, vivid colours all the way from her, her neck all the way down to her tail. Beautiful. She travelled for a very long time, far and wide. As she made her way across the land, her body formed mountains and they formed valleys and they formed riverbeds. Here they are. The rainbow serpent was the dreamtime creature who shaped the earth. After all of her travelling, she grew tired and she curled up and began to sleep. After some rest, she returned to the place where she had first appeared and called out to the frogs, come out. The frogs woke up very slowly because they'd got so much water in their bellies. Here they are coming out. The rainbow serpent tickled their stomachs and the water began to fill the tracks that the rainbow serpent had left. This is how the lakes and the rivers were formed. After this, water, grass and trees began to grow. All the other animals that lived in rocks, on the plains, in the trees and the air began to wake up and follow the rainbow serpent. They were all happy with the earth. The rainbow serpent made laws that they all had to obey. Some did not like this and began to cause trouble. The rainbow serpent said, those who obey will be rewarded. I shall give them human form, but for those who don't, they will be punished and turned to stone. The tribes of the people lived together on the land given to them by the rainbow serpent. They knew that the land would always be theirs as long as they took care of it. They believed that no one should ever take it away from them. You can see the koalas in the trees, the kangaroos, the rainbow serpent frog, fish in the river, the aborigines. So you will need to become familiar with that story by Thursday and Friday. So watch it a few times, listen carefully to it so that you can help Miss Williams do her activity in English. Thank you, year two. Have a lovely week.